Care for some... Thanks for your... Here's your ingredients. Although I can't imagine what kind of drink uses this stuff. Oh, it tastes just as extreme as it looks. Popola is the only person I know who can handle it. Anyway, tell Popola I'll have this stuff sent over to the village as soon as it's ready, okay? Got it. Hey there. Any specials on the menu today? Well, we have a local special, but lately I've had trouble getting the ingredients. It's pretty much all anyone here wants to eat. So if we don't secure a better supply, my business is gonna go under. Well, that's terrible. Want me to find the ingredients? Would you? Oh, thank you so much. I need 10 medicinal herbs, 10 bags of wheat, and 10 sardines. If you can find all that, I'll make it worth your while. A drink with a lizard's tail inside certainly sounds impressive. <laughs> yeah, Popol is really something when she starts drinking. Surely you jest. No joke. Once she got so plastered, she practically destroyed the shop. Knocked down a wall and everything. Does alcohol affect Devila in the same manner? Devil is more of a lightweight. If she has even a little, she starts acting all cute and meowing like a kitten. Devil, huh? For true? For true. Alcohol is a fearsome chemical indeed.
I found your ingredients. Oh, you are a lifesaver. Let me just get your payment. Oh, and a meal on the house. Voila! One bowl of our local specialty, sardine pasta. Oh, it looks delicious. Excuse me, but can I get your help again? What's up? People are finally tiring of sardine pasta, and I'm fresh out of ideas for new dishes. You seem pretty well-traveled for a kid, so if you run into any interesting recipes during your journeys, could you let me know? Well, I don't have much of an eye for cooking, but sure, I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much. Recipe ideas, huh? Maybe we can find a cookbook somewhere.
I got your melon, Yona. Thanks. If there's anything else you want, just let me know. Well, since you offered, would you mind getting me a watermelon? A watermelon this time? Sure thing. Did somebody order a watermelon? Yay! You're the best. Anything else you need? Actually, I need a pumpkin. All right then. One pumpkin coming right up. I got your pumpkin, Yona. Thanks. You've sure been eating a lot lately. Oh, I'm not eating, ma'am. You're not? Ta-da! Here you go. I made it all by myself. Is this a cake? Yep. Popola taught me how to bake one. I made it for you in secret. Wow, Yona, this is, um, well, it's a surprise for sure. Come on, try it, try it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is so good. Yay, you're always super busy, so I wanted to make you something to help keep up your strength. That's really sweet of you, Yona. Thank you. Sure, actually, I made like seven cakes, so there's tons of leftovers. <sighs> the life of an elder sibling continues to be a trying experience. You're telling me. Don't worry about me. I'll wait right here and not get into any trouble. I'll even drink the medicine Popola made. Even though it's really gross. Just... Come back for me, okay?
Hey, Popola. The tavern's got your drink. Oh, that's great. Let me get Devla and then we'll head on over. That was fun. Hopefully it won't be so long until the next time. Heavens, what a thrill. I had no idea those two had that in them. Me neither. job should I give you first? I've got a job from the postman in Seafront. He needs your help with a personal matter. I wrote down the client's location
old lady in the lighthouse is a real pain. Ah, just the kid I was looking for. What's up? I've got a letter for the lighthouse lady, and I was hoping you could deliver it. The other postmen, well, they don't really want to deal with her. You don't say. I'd do it myself, but with my bad leg and all. Anyway, sorry to keep bugging you, but can you help? Sure thing. The lady hardly ever leaves that lighthouse, so you should start there. Oh, and thank you. Nerve! How dare he boss us around! It's okay, Vice. At least we're helping people. Ah, you are far too soft. And you're just a cranky old man. Book. Are you all right? You took so much time delivering the mail, my illness has gotten worse. I'm lucky I'm not dead. You truly are a staggering creature. Well, since you're here, I guess I should give you a little something. Whoa, I, I can't accept this much. <laughs> it's fine, just take it. Take it and go. But bring the mail quicker next time, and I want to see a smile. Is there no end to this madness? When will he return to my side? Work was exhausting, so I'm taking a little break.
job should I give you first? I've got another job from that seafront postman. Apparently some cranky old lady is giving him trouble. I wrote down the client's location on your map, so... It's the first request I've made in ages. How dare you deny it? You can't leave. Who's going to tend the lighthouse? How much longer will you force me to toil here? I must go to him. I need to board a ship as soon as possible. No way, lady. It's back to work for you. Now get going. What's going on? There's no one else in town who knows how to keep the lighthouse burning. We... we need her. <sighs> Look, she seems to trust you. Think you could maybe talk her into it? I suppose a visit is an order, yes? case at that. So that's the illness she kept mentioning. Oh, you. I suppose you want to tell everyone about my illness, hmm? Well, don't. I don't fear death. I've lived long enough and I'm weary of it. I'm weary of being alone. But though I don't fear death, I do have one regret. I wanted to see my love one last time. I've spent 50 years working the lighthouse for these people, and now they won't let me leave. I just want to see him. I want to board the ship that will take me to him. Oh, cruel world. So it's a dying wish now, is it? We should help her out, Vice. We've better things to do than stay here and operate a lighthouse. 
You'll have to convince the villagers to help. Come on, let's start with the postman. Listen, about the lighthouse lady. Could you reconsider? You really should let her go. We can't. Look, I'm sorry, but you'll just have to trust me. This is for her own good. Death stalks this woman, Postman. Would you truly deny her final request? She's... wait, she's dying? Yeah. So if you are doing it for her sake, then you should just grant her final request. But we can't! Look, I... I have things to attend to. Come back tomorrow. Hmm... Methinks the postman is hiding a secret of his own. I suggest we go back. I have a feeling we might discover something. I can't believe she's going to die. I suppose there's no need for this now. Listen, Mr. Postman. Hey! What are you doing here? I would ask the same of you. Work! Just, just some work! Wait, are you writing a letter? I don't see how that's any of your business. Well then, allow me to ask about something that is very much our business. Why are the old lady's letters, and only her letters, postmarked from this very office? What? Well, that's because... Uh, um... The other deliveries bore postmarks from locales far and wide. What are you getting at, Vice? A woman was not receiving letters from a lover in some far-flung land. They were penned by the hand of someone in this very town. Well... crap. Go to the back room. There's something there you should see. There's another room over there. Clear these packages out of the way. Whatever it is, he could have put it in a more convenient spot. It must be something he wanted to keep hidden at all costs.
letters. Yes, and a rather sizable bundle. They were all written by the woman in the lighthouse. And you never thought to deliver them? I couldn't. Not anymore. Here, look at this. It's a death notice. For her true love, I presume. Then who sent the woman all those letters? I did. What manner of cruel hoax is this? I didn't mean for it to be cruel. None of us did. The whole town agreed to help. So you're all in on it? Those letters kept her going. They gave her hope. She believed her love to be alive in a foreign land somewhere, and we couldn't bear to tell her otherwise. So we just kept the lie going. It started with my father some 50 years ago. Are you gonna keep lying to her? Yes. The truth can only cause her pain. Are you sure she's better off this way? It's not a very happy truth now, is it? What about her final request? I don't know. How should I know? I'm just a damn postman. I don't know what to do anymore. What's the best thing to do? What's the right thing? Here, I have a new letter. Take it. It says that her love is coming, but that the journey will be long. It tells her to wait. You wish us to deliver another letter filled with lies? You uncovered our town's deepest secret like it was nothing. I don't think that's an accident. Look, I've told you what I think. Deliver the letter or tell her the truth. It's up to you. This is tough. What do we do, Vice? What do we do? Calm yourself, lad. There's no need to get in a froth over a problem of someone else's making. It's hard to believe the entire town was lying to her. I wager their intentions were good. Elsewise, they would not have carried on with the ruse for 50 years. It also explains why they tasked her with keeping the lighthouse running, so news of her love's demise would not reach her. Maybe that really was the kind thing to do?
have any further news for my love? This is for you, but your love didn't write it. Oh, posh! It's his handwriting, and I recognize the stationery, too. That which you recognize comes from the town's postman and his father, not from your beloved. Are you saying those two idiots wrote all these letters? But... but why? Your lover perished long years ago, and they had not the heart to tell you. Thus, the charade. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. To tell you the truth, part of me had suspected something like this. But it's hard to hear a secret thought finally spoken aloud. I... I think I should be alone for a while. I'd like to ask you a favor. I want you to forget we ever had this conversation. The entire town has worked on this story, and they did so to make me happy. I don't want their hard work to go to waste, so I will carry on as if I am none the wiser. As you wish. Please, tell the postman. Thank you. We will. You have my thanks. <sighs> Are you all right, lad? <sighs> yeah, I'm okay. You have lost health. You must be more careful. from the lighthouse has passed. Ah. We found her in bed. She looked... happy. So, I guess you didn't tell her, huh? Actually, I told her the truth. Thank you. I think you did right. Hard to believe she's gone. I always figured the old girl would outlive me. I hope our plan was right. I hope it made her happy in the end. I can't believe the old lady is gone. Or that I actually miss her. Did we do the right thing? Was she happy? I do not know. None can say what true happiness is. Humans and perhaps even magical tones, are far more uncertain creatures than we know. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>